Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna take a look at a 2023 Winnebago Micro Mini model number 2108DS, front Murphy bed, rear bath, side slide, weighing 4,300 pounds or so. This has got that Benjamin Button disease. Just keeps getting better and better and better. Aluminum frame, fiberglass skin, great looking front fiberglass cap. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brent Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brent. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, that would be fantastic. We're putting out awesome videos like this all the time. This is a very, very easable, easily towable unit. Double axle, only seven feet wide. You're gonna like this trailer. Follow us along on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook as well. Right on, Brandon. We're here at the front. Front power jack, 20 pound per paint tanks with a black. 30 pound per paint tank cover, so you can always upgrade those up. We've also got a space in behind there for a uh, battery in a box location. BAL frame. Love which, it. Which is a huck bolted frame. It doesn't seem to corrode as much as some of the other frames I see. Uh, so it's a, it's a great looking frame in through there. What do you think this little spot right here is for, Brennan? Put your flag. Nope. It's actually a nice little spot to put your seven way to keep it out of the dirt and the grime. Sounds um, like a person that's never had a campground seen flags all across the place. Well, front. you can do whatever you want. Yeah. But I like it there for a seven way connector, keeping that up and out of the dirt. Great looking front fiberglass cap. We're seven feet wide on these micro minis, so they're nice and easy to see around. Like Brendan said, super nimble on the road. Slam latch doors held up by magnets. We've got a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. Pass through storage with a battery disconnect in through there. Our solar charge kit, uh, like the controllers over there on the outside or on, on the inside of the pass through. We have electric jacks here on all four corners. They're individually switched as well. A Schwintech style slide pulling our dyna off the floor. Sliding window here, sliding window there, sliding windows everywhere. 15 inch aluminum rims with those Goodyear Wrangler tires, the deep knobby tires, torsion suspension in through here as well. 30 amp detachable style cord, sewer drain down through here, city water connection, black water flush kit, cable and satellite inlet with a 30 amp detachable style cord, outside shower, six gallon gas electric water heater, roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. It's a one piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suit. Full size spare, don't worry, we're gonna get that beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. Then we have an electric awning right here, spanning the entire roof line with LED lights in that awning, outside speakers down below it, another kitchen window, or another sliding window here in our kitchen. We've also got a fridge vent, a furnace vent, an outside receptacle, an outside spray port with our freshwater fill heat in through here. Uh, Two-step entrance up and in, lend a hand grab handle, and then right here is the other side of our pass-through but we've still got the slide out closed. Let's see what kind of travel access we have here. We're coming in. We got our Murphy bed up here on the right. Our dyna as we come in too. I'm able to just slide down this hallway fairly easily. Get to our fridge, get to our bathroom, all with everything all closed up. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on, folks. We're inside that 2108 DS. Now, they make these a few different ways, right, Brandon? They make the DS with the front Murphy bed. They make the FBS with the front uh, walk-around bed. And then they make the twin bed version where everything else stays the same back there. But we're in the 2108 DS. And when we're sitting here on the couch, it's super comfy. We've got couch-side tables on either side. Uh, small cupboards on either side to go into our pass-through storage. Drawers underneath our couch as well. Big drawers, Brandon. Finished off in through here with plywood. Even the, the bottom piece of our drawers is nicely trimmed out with wood to matches. And then we're going to have wardrobe space on either side of the bed slash couch. And then turning this into an actual bed is pretty slick and easy up and down. Pull this down. Bingo, bango. We've got our bed. Shelf across the top. On both sides of the bed there, there's a receptacle, and on this side over here, there's a USB sheet. Flipping over here to the dinette, you can get this with the couch too. It's like a tri-glide couch, but this is the dinette option. The problem with the tri-glide is it makes for a nice big secondary bed, but it's hard to get around in here when it's down. 
Anyways, this is the booth. It goes down to a secondary bed. We've got that sliding window we were talking about. The countertop matches our tabletop. We've got cupboard space in through there on either side. Nice stuff. And then right here is our TV. Our TV is pretty conveniently placed because it's across from the one side of the dinette. It's across from the bed slash Murphy bed, so that works well. We've got a mobile phone charger in through here. Mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> the 90s called. Anyways, we got our pantry in through here across from our fridge. Thermostat there. JBL sound system with a cupboard in through there as well. Hidden hinges closing those up for us. Now this has the optional 12 volt fridge. It's 10 cubic foot. Like I mentioned at the outside, we have a 200 watt solar panel charging our battery, battery running our fridge. And then below our fridge, we have our furnace, glass stove top cover with a three burner stove top underneath it. No oven, but we do have this extra bit of drawer space. This is gonna be a pop down for our breakers and our fuses. And then looking up, we have a convection microwave in through here, basically taking the place of our oven. Plates and cups, kitchen window, undermount stainless steel sink with our nice plastic sink covers, pull out faucet, big cupboard there for a garbage can slash recycling bin, pop down piece, drawer, drawer, and then pop down piece in through there, access to some of the plumbing in there as well. And then coming in to the bathroom. Bathroom in here is killer. We're gonna have a plastic toilet. We're gonna have all kinds of hip space. The dump truck fits. Cupboard space down there. You saw that, Brendan? Oh yeah. Yeah. Linen closet there, slash closet, stainless steel sink. Look how they cut this countertop here around that pocket style door. Just fantastic craftsmanship. Medicine cabinet there. And then up into the shower, your boy Josh, he's six feet tall. Every inch of him fits in the shower. My head's a little bit in the sky there, but I can definitely do what I need to do. Shower head, shower surround, goggle style door. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have a good day.